hi guys good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel so if this is your first time here welcome if you're a returning subscriber a round of applause for you to welcome back to my youtube channel i'm hoping you guys can hear me because it's still very early in the morning and i don't want to shout so today is a very will i say a different video in the sense that i i'm just going to take you guys through the process of me creating recipes and uh, posting it on my food blog so for those of you that are new here my name is lola welcome to my youtube channel i think i've said that i have a food blog i'll put it on the screen here and i'll link it in the description box so feel free to check it out it's called adelaskitchen.com so uh, i'm going to take you through the creative process of me creating a recipe and posting it on the blog all of the behind the scenes basically of what i have to do to be able to get a recipe out so yes uh today i'll be showing you guys what i do so usually when i'm making recipes i like to wake up really early in the morning super early so it's currently past six in the morning now and i wake up early just because for for my food blog i love taking uh, pictures with uh, natural lighting so i like it when it's still bright outside so that the picture process can go well because it takes quite a bit of time to get good and like to get the right angle and the picture and all of that so i'm just doing an intro here i'll show you quickly guys what i have yes yeah, so usually i try to plan out what i am cooking and like the steps so i don't forget so i try to remind myself by here i have like my ingredients, um, the things I would use to garnish because I feel like garnishing is really important because that's what makes it come out well, you know, like so the pictures come out nicely. Sometimes I have an idea of what I want to use to garnish and sometimes I don't. So I'm just going to take you guys through the process and yeah. So I have my ingredients, um, the ingredients I want to use for garnishing and I also have the steps so st I have like steps I write down to take pictures because sometimes like when I'm cooking it could get crazy and I'll forget to take pictures of certain steps and for the blog like pictures are really important because people are going to see and then read so yes I need to take pictures and then also the process of like writing something for the blog and going through the SEO process and all of that for the blog anyway I tell you guys that today I'll be taking you guys along as I make a recipe so today I'll be making zucchini noodles and yes uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to sh <laughs> don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel subscription is free click on the red button and click on the notification bell right next to it so you are the first to know when i upload a new video okay so i'll see you guys later and yes yeah, so i tried to prepare so now i'm trying to sort out what i need to cook and then i'm making sure like um my camera is charged just so it doesn't die on me when I'm trying to take pictures. Yeah, so just the little tiny things like that. So I'll just show you that. So the camera is still charging. So usually when it's fully charged, it goes from it goes from orange to green. Yeah, so it's still charging. I just put it in some minutes ago. So I'll see you guys later when I start fully. Yes. Bye guys. Hi guys, hi guys, hi, hi, hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Anyway guys, I just want to show you guys the process quickly. So when I'm making food recipes, right, uh, there's a whole process guys. So I go through stages of writing things down before I even start cooking. Otherwise, it would not go as planned most of the time. So I have two lists here and it doesn't want to be clear. But anyway, so basically what I do is I write down the recipe I want to make. Like I list the ingredients 
and for the food blog, uh, in case you guys don't know, for food recipes, you need exact measurements. So I have to use my food scale. Yes, this food scale, guys, this thing has served me for years. And I haven't changed the battery. It's funny. I've had this for over three years. Yes. And it works very well. It works fine. So I need my food scale to measure the ingredients and make sure like they're exact because I need to give you guys, I need to give people like the exact measurements when you're following a recipe just so you get it right. Yes. So I would measure all my ingredients usually. Then I have to take pictures of each process. So for the food blog, I have to take pictures. Pictures are really important guys because that is what makes or ma your recipe basically because like you can make this really yummy food and it looks horrible like when you take pictures and that just ruins everything because there's no point so i always always try to take good pictures that's why when i'm cooking i try to wake up super early today i'm a little late because it's already past 10 usually by 9 8 9 sometimes i've started cooking it depends it's way past 10 today but i think it's still fine it's quite sunny outside because also why i start, why i like to cook early is because i like to use natural lighting to take pictures if that makes any sense yes or anywho i just wanted to um give you guys an update of what's going on and i'll just carry you guys along and uh i'll explain as i go so i just wanted to say hi to you guys so you guys are not lost and you understand what i'm doing today so welcome back to my channel and enjoy this video so this is a day in my life as a food blogger yes I can't believe I'm saying that. I am really a, am I am, am I really a food blogger, guys? But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye, guys. Mwah. Hi again, guys. So what I'm doing now is just I'll just call it marking register because I'm basically trying to make sure I'm not forgetting any ingredients. I'm marking and I'm seeing. And what happened now was <laughs> I had an ingredient I was supposed to use and I actually forgot to put it on the list. So on on opening upon opening the fridge, I realized oh, there's something else I need to add to the recipe. So yes. Um, I'm just, I have, so I have a list of my ingredients here. This is my list and I'm just trying to make sure I have everything ready. Then I'll take pictures of the ingredients. Like I'm going to, for example, so for example, for the chopped or um, the capsicum, the onions, uh, my mushrooms and like the sausages all of these ingredients right I need to chop them nicely before I take pictures and put on the blog yes so I'm gonna do that first and then measure no I actually measure <laughs> I measure first and then I chop the ingredients up and then I move on with the cooking process before I start with the cooking process if that makes any sense I hope you guys will enjoy this video please comment below like share and subscribe let me know if you like videos like this so i know if i would be showing you more things like this like when i'm creating content for the blog or not well anyway guys yeah i just wanted to update you guys on what i was doing and i'll see you guys in a bit
can you see? Uh, I don't think you guys can see. But this says 100 grams. So I'm using 100 grams of shrimp. I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible, guys. And my camera is crooked. Yeah, I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible. So I'm measuring out my ingredients and I'm writing. I'm writing how many. So I have a sticky note here with the ingredients and how many grams they are. So lastly, I have my pork. The sauces, I'll do that later. So this is the pork, minced pork. I'm not using a lot for this recipe, yeah? So guys, this recipe will definitely be up on my blog by the time this video goes up. So you guys should definitely check it out if you are interested in this. I'll be using this gigantic or gigantic or gigantic how do you say it gigantic this gigantic this large big this very big uh ginger and garlic paste no i'm not using everything guys i'm just going to use some of it it smells so good and it just makes your food taste better so i'm using some of these and I'll get on to doing my stuff and I'll see you guys later. Yeah. So guys, I also have some ingredients here that are just meant for garnishing, like my tomatoes and my avocado. So tomatoes, avocado, those are just meant for garnishing. And I think I'll use some of the mushrooms to garnish also. So those are not going to be like measured, measured, because it's going to depend on how much I need. I'll see that after cooking. But yeah, just wanted to tell you guys that. I'll see you guys later. So guys, this is the star of the dish. The zucchini noodles. This is the main ingredient. Yeah? So this is what it looks like. Yeah? So, and it's just 250 grams I'm using. Just wanted to show you guys that. Anyway, I feel like usually we, we when I'm making food for the blog, I tend to overcook. So that's why I decided to just try and make like one or two portions maximum so like food is not just food is not just lying around wasting and all that but yeah i'll see you guys later so i'm just putting on my apron What it looks like is this very cute it has pockets but yeah that's it the next step for me is now to arrange all of my ingredients i'm done with chopping and slicing and all of that and then um take pictures so these are going to be the first set of pictures in the sense of ingredients pictures of the ingredients is what i want to do now and i have it's not the best but i have like a a makeshift i don't know what to call it board where i take the pictures from so it's like the background i want to get like a white background which is what i need well this will do for now
what everything is looking like. So these are my ingredients, zucchini noodles, capsicums, my spices, shrimps, uh, like sausages, pork, mince, butter, mushrooms, and onions. And this is all we need. And the beauty of this recipe is actually, you need this, you need this, you need bell peppers. You can use other bell peppers. You, or you, you can use other bell peppers or capsicum or other veggies if you like you can skip so if you're vegetarian right you can skip uh pork actually and just use mushrooms and veggies for yours so if you're vegetarian you can skip all of this and if you're not then you can use everything so it's a really versatile recipe that you can switch up or mix and match however you like so this is what it's looking like i'm gonna try and get good pictures now and then i'll start cooking but yeah Hi again guys, so this is Lola speaking. I'm just going to run you guys quickly through my picture taking process. So first of all, I try to get like a general angle, or like a, a picture of all of the ingredients together. And then like guys, you switch angles so many times. I then try to take each ingredient separately just because i need to have a lot of options for pictures that i'll put up on the blog so you see me moving around simply because i'm trying to get pictures from every angle possible and then also trying to make sure lighting is also good so i'll take pictures general pictures so i try to take pictures of the major ingredients first and then i take pictures of the uh other ingredients, the side ingredients, and then I try to get good angles also. So yeah, that's it. Just wanted to tell you guys the process of pictures. The process I go through with taking pictures, yeah? I'm calling, maybe I'm selfish. Out. I want you to myself, I can't help it. Oh my, yeah, maybe I'm selfish. You're my. some of the pictures I took some of them I like so I like to have options so I have like full frame like I have everything together and then I have those ones that are just capturing a few of the ingredients and then I'll see what I'll do with them later I'll pick some and just mix and match but this I didn't like it at first but I think I kind of like it it has this nice um, color to it but yeah just wanted to show you guys that i'll take a few more and we can start cooking so after i've taken a few pictures i go over the ones i've taken i have a look and see if i like any of them and if i do it's fine if i don't then even if i do i still go over again and take more pictures just because once this phase is over i can't come back here and try and whip up ingredients all over again once i've started cooking so i need to make sure i have good pictures yeah so this is really important because on my blog if you notice i always have a picture of what everything looks like first the ingredients before I now separate the ingredients into what they become later. So yeah, this is just me taking more pictures again and yeah. Bye guys. So guys, I was saying I'll see you later. I'm about to start cooking now and it's gonna get crazy. So I'll see you when I show you. I'll show you guys. I'll probably put some pictures on the screen, the end result of the recipe, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Cause this is just step one basically guys because i still have to edit pictures 
and then write the recipe up on the blog before I can call it a day and say I've done what I do on days I decide to film recipes. Yes. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. and I took like a bit of break for a couple of hours and now I'm back so now I'm trying to I'm on my system now I'll show you guys in a bit and I'm just trying to write down write out the recipe on my blog I'm on the back end of my blog and I'm trying to write the recipe out like each of the steps that will be accompanied by pictures and then after that I would sort out the pictures I took that you guys saw earlier I would um edit the ones that need to be edited and then post them up on the blog and do some things on the blog like like the, there's the seo optimization um seo sounds for stands for search engine optimization so it's just so like i have to use keywords so that people who go on google that are looking for this recipe or anything similar will be able to find my recipe quickly something like that so that's what I'm going to do once I'm done writing a recipe and uh, the SEO optimization for me is usually like one of the hardest parts because um, I'm trying to make it really good so that takes a bit of time but I'm almost done anyway no I think we can see I'm like 50-60% done because I still need to put pictures, finish writing. I'm not done writing the recipe yet. I'm almost done. So I need to finish writing the recipe, put pictures, sort out the SEO stuff, and then it's good to go. And then, okay, I would um, preview. I'll see what it looks like before I now post it and make it live. But yeah, basically, this is what it looks like. This is what it did in my life when I am... Feel like i need to face you guys so as i was saying this is what a day in my life when i am making food recipe looks like so the time is currently 6 32 i finished all my stuff in the kitchen around um past one there about that's including like like cooking clean up Cause I feel like I started cooking like past 11 by past 12 I was done because I had to take pictures and all of that and then it took me a bit of time to clean up and all of that and then once that was done I came back to the room and I rested I just stood up maybe 30 minutes ago 30 40 minutes ago to start writing the recipe and I am getting there so I really want this recipe to go up today and that's why I'm pushing myself like this but usually it's like sometimes it's like it takes like I could cook today and I won't upload the recipe I would give myself days to finish writing the recipe and upload it but because I am doing a video of a day in my life as a food blogger that is exactly why I am trying to cook today upload the recipe today and do everything in one day usually I space it out just so I don't get burnt out which uh, makes it easier for me right but yeah, that is what everything is looking like now. So I'll see you guys later, okay?
keep that Is that sweet, sweet envy on my lips It's like a turning So guys, I'm just saving it now to the preview. This is before. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's saved. Come in, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm saving the draft. I've saved the draft. You guys cannot see, but yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys once the recipe is up on the blog. Okay? See you guys later. So guys, this will be the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed a day in my life as a food blogger. Let me know in the comment section what surprised you or what you didn't expect. Or if you have any questions or anything, do let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be very happy to answer your questions. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, <laughs> and subscribe to my youtube channel okay i'll see you guys later yeah bye guys this is me at the last kitchen signing out okay bye guys bye